everyone so I am blown away by how good the lighting is right now this is making me very very excited but I thought I would come on here and do a little hair care routine video for you because I've had so so many questions about it recently um, and I will be the first to admit that hair is not my favorite subject it's probably the area in beauty that I'm the least passionate about which is kind of unfortunate because it's something I do get asked about a lot and also I haven't got any nail polish on which I hate it makes me feel like I've got that little child hands um, but I had false nails on and I took them off last night so I wanted to just give my nails a bit of a breather but um, yeah I'm not particularly passionate about it it's something I find a bit of a chore to be honest and I've always had very very long hair well it's not very very long I'm making it sound like I'm Rapunzel long hair anyway um, and I am somebody who does find it a bit of a chore to style it to sort it out all that kind of thing my hair is naturally very curly think um, Julia Roberts and Pretty Woman type of curly but I haven't been leaving it like that in the last year or so just because it is very high maintenance when I wear it curly I have to wash it daily and dry it with the diffuser and all sorts of things like that and it takes a very long time um, and I just haven't really had that kind of time lately with work and different things like that so um, straightening it, blow drying it, all that kind of thing is my preferred method at the moment but I will go back to wearing it curly because I love it um, as well now my hair today, I washed my hair last night, I dried it last night and then right now um, I styled it and kind of curled it this morning. So that's kind of why it, um, I'm just looking in the viewfinder to see how well you can see. It looks um, a little bit fluffy and all that kind of thing because like I said I did style it last night. My hair length curled it's probably like boob length but obviously when it's curled it does scrunch up a little bit so it's probably maybe like there um, is the length of my hair and cut wise I don't have it cut very often I'm very naughty like that um, I don't like going to the hairdressers I don't like having it cut I trim it when I feel like my ends look a bit dodgy and that's kind of it it's just kind of like a long layered situation but I'm perfectly content with it being like that I'm now kind of wondering if the lighting is a little bit weird is it I don't know I feel like it's washing me out a little bit but we shall see um, yes, so let's start with hair care things that I like. Um, washing my hair, how often do I wash it? I will usually wash it two to three times a week. If I could not wash it very often, that would be the ideal choice, but it does get a little bit greasy and a bit yucky, and probably like day three hair is not nice and I need to kind of sort it out. Um, but I know some people have to wash it absolutely every single day, so I'm... I'm okay with that, it's just it's a bit annoying. I do have a very, very sensitive scalp, so I do need to keep an eye on that. And the only thing I find that works for that is such an unglamorous product, but it is Tea Gel by Neutrogena. Very boring product, um, but it just really works. And it stinks, but it leaves your scalp feeling very clean, very clarified, so I'm happy to use that. If I... Um, want to use a different shampoo however this shampoo is something I do find very effective because I'll get into kind of the colour and everything in a minute um, but the John Frieda Sheer Blonde Go Blonder shampoo I find works very well for my hair because my hair has kind of got naturally highlighted bits so for example this bit in my hair here all of this blonde bit you can see it work from the roots okay um that's actually natural i've always had that i've had it as a child it's like a type of birthmark type of thing i really like it um and that definitely um is made brighter if i use shampoo like this but it does kind of wreak havoc on my scalp a little bit so i do have to be careful um because of that but it does work very well. So that's in terms of shampoo. Then in terms of conditioner, I have two kind of treatment masks that are things that I use most often. One of them I don't actually have to show you because I ran out, but it's the um, Charles Worthington Balm. The, is it like the moisture, the nourishing balm? You know the one that, um, you heat it up and it's like a balm, you put it on dry hair and then rinse it out. I love that, I need to repurchase that. The other thing that I do tend to use quite often as well, but I can't use it too often once my hair goes greasy, is the Aussie 3 Minute Miracle, the colour version. This one it smells amazing, it smells like peaches, um, which is one of my favourite smells in life. 
oh it's such a nice smell um and it leaves my hair feeling really nourished but i don't use it all the time because as i said it's a little bit too um, moisturizing if i do use it on every wash at the moment what i've been using um and i do very much top and change with my hair care depending on what i'm feeling like all that kind of thing at the moment i'm using this which is the tg um, headshot reconstructive intense conditioner i always use a very very intense conditioner um but i try to find one that doesn't weigh my hair down this seems to be doing the job because I want my hair to be very nourished but I don't want it to be weighed down or greasy or anything like that so I do definitely always invest in a good conditioner I don't see the point unless you've got very greasy hair and just using a standard wishy-washy conditioner you need something that's going to restore your hair especially if you heat style it which I do then in terms of colour I've gotten so many questions about this recently um, and what I basically think it is is that the lighting in this house is so much better that you can actually see the natural colour of my hair which is a lot a lot lighter than it looks um, in like in videos and things like that in the house we lived in before because it was quite a dark house and there wasn't sense of natural lighting so I don't dye my hair. Um, I haven't dyed my hair in a very, very long time. My hair is naturally brunette, but it's kind of like a multicolored brunette. There's bits of it that are quite warm. There's kind of blondy bits. I have got a whole section here where I've got white hairs coming out, and they're not grey. They're like proper coarse, thick white hairs. It's very, very scary. I've had them probably since I was about 19, and I hate them. Um, and they just keep getting worse, so that's a little bit scary. But you can see, like I said, this part here is natural, and then I've just got bits where it's like a little bit blonde the ends are always a little bit um, kind of warmer and that's just how my hair is naturally but what I do use a couple of maybe like once I was using it more often and then I decided to not use it as often because I didn't feel like I needed it and now I use it maybe once every couple of months it's the John Frieda brilliant brunette visibly brighter in shower lightning treatment which looks like this I love this product so much I use this all the time it's so so good and basically like you have this picture here it shows you if your hair's that color it can lighten it to that color and i find it very very effective on my hair now um if you do have hair that is very dark i wouldn't expect miracles with this like my sister has quite um dark hair she uses it it doesn't tend to be as effective on her but on me i find it really really effective i can use it once and like my root area goes a lot lighter and you can see it kind of gives it more of a multi-tonal effect it does contain a small amount of bleach in it i believe and it will just give your hair a little bit of a lift rather than give you a totally different color so if you're okay with that i do think this is a great product it's very often on offer in boots and super drug but you can buy it in different places online as well um and tk maxx is a good place to look for it for because i bought a bunch of them in there for like 2.99 a little while ago so that's a really good product. Then in terms of other styling products, I do always try and make sure that I put a leave-in conditioner or an oil or something moisturising when my hair is damp if I'm going to dry it with a hair dryer. My favourite favourite is the Charles Worthington Moisture Seal. This is the leave-in conditioner. And you can see I've used a lot of this. I love this. I use it all the time. It is um, free from ammonia and peroxide and it's paraben free as well. And it just really makes my hair feel a lot thicker. And I feel like it's made the condition of my hair much, much nicer. Similar product to that. Doesn't work as well, but I like to mix the two because I feel like this gives my hair kind of more of a smooth feel. It's the um, L'Oreal Extraordinary Oil Oil in Cream. This is just like a moisturising cream. L'Oreal used to do one of these that was in a white tube and it had a yellow lid it was part of the like royal jelly range that they did and i remember alessandra steiner talked about it in glamour magazine years and years ago and i remember using that for years and i loved it and it was so good but i think they've stopped making it and this is the closest thing i could find to it i really like l'oreal hair care in general i think it's pretty solid um and this it just gives your hair a nice boost of moisture but doesn't weigh it down and I'm very conscious of when I've washed my hair I want it to feel like there's moisture in it I want it to feel like it's nourished I don't want to feel like my hair feels a little bit straw like and I'm very careful with how I brush my hair as well which leads me on to these two um, well they're not products but tools or whatever um, the tangle teaser that's pretty much the only hair um, brush I will use this is the original this one's the one with a handle I actually think I still prefer the original um, I use this one in the shower when my hair's got conditioner on it because it doesn't tear your hair and for my hair type I find these are the best hair brushes I know not everyone gets on with them but I think they're really effective and they're just really cute like I like the black ones I feel as well like they look I don't know that looks like it could be like Batman's tangle teaser or something but um 
yeah, they've all got hair in it. My hair sheds like crazy as well, which is really disgusting. I, I honestly don't understand how I have as much hair as I do. And if I ever wanted to kill somebody, I wouldn't get away with it because my DNA would be all over that crime scene because my hair comes out so, so much. But this helps it come out a little bit less. And they're my favourite, favourite hairbrushes. Everybody needs to own a Tangle Teaser. There is no reason to use a normal hairbrush anymore. It's just, they're better. Um, then in terms of more kind of styling products, um, I do always use dry shampoo, maybe on like day two or three. I will confess, I actually really hate dry shampoo. I hate how dry shampoo feels. I think it makes my scalp feel gross, but it's necessary if I don't want to wash it all the time. And sometimes, you know, you just need it, don't you? I'm a big fan of the Colab dry shampoo. I find that to be the best. Um, this one is the active one. I'm not as keen on this one. I don't like the smell of it particularly, um, but there are other ones from the range that I prefer. I think London and Monaco are my favourite scents in the range, um, but I like the original one. I just think it gives your hair a bit of a refreshing feeling, but doesn't leave it all chalky like Batiste does. Um, and then this is the Vero 5 Dry Texturising Spray. This is very good as well. A um, little bit more powdery. But it doesn't leave as much as a residue of a residue as you would expect. I don't like the smell of this. It has that kind of cheap hair product smell. Um, but I think it's very effective. You can kind of put it in the length of your hair, give it a bit of a messy vibe. If you've got hair that responds well to that, this would be a good product. Mine's a little bit prone to frizz, so mine doesn't respond to that as well. But I still will use it in my roots and that kind of thing. Um, frizz control, actually. I will, when I've got damp hair and I'm blow drying it, I will use the John Frieda Frizzies Blow Dry Styling Spray. I'll just spritz a couple of spritzes because I do think it's quite drying because it's in a spray. I do think it has got a little bit of alcohol in it. Not crazy about the texture of it, but it does help to tone down your frizz a little bit. Another thing I find effective for frizz is using like a hair oil or a hair serum. This is the um, Schwarzkopf Got To Be Oilicious Styling Oil. Very, very cheap. It's not my fave. The Moroccan oil is my fave, but that's very expensive. And they do a blow dry lotion that's amazing as well. Um, but I only have those if I'm feeling spendy because they are expensive. And this this works well. It smells nice. It's fine. Um, in terms of heat protection, we didn't talk about that, did we? Which is very, very important. I do always use heat protection when I'm doing my hair. Um, I haven't found one that I'm like, wow, this is the best one ever, but I am quite enjoying this one. And it's the Lee Stafford Coco Loco Coconut Heat Protection Spray. It doesn't feel as alcoholy as some of the other ones do, and it smells like coconuts, so it makes your hair smell nice, which is always a plus. And another thing I will sometimes use, more so in the winter for some reason, is this from Batiste, and it's the Hydrate Me Oil Mist. So it's like a kind of moisturising hair mist that's kind of like between a hairspray and like a leave-in conditioner. It just adds a bit of shine, makes your hair look pretty. Um, it says that it helps prevent breakage and that kind of thing, but I can't say I've noticed that. I just think it's a very nice um, product if your hair's looking a bit dull. Like if you have blonde hair, this would be good, although I would be careful not to use too much of it. Um, and then, last but not least, in terms of styling products, hairspray. I use hairspray every day to keep my style in. Um, my hair's not particularly great at holding a style, if I'm being honest. Like, I curled it earlier and it was far curlier than it is now. It's it's long and it's heavy and it kind of, it doesn't hold it very well. But this does help and it's just the original Elnet hairspray. It stinks. It's a horrible, horrible smell. Um, but it's a very kind of nostalgic smell at the same time. I always think it smells like my grandma. Um, not that she smells horrible, but you know what I mean. It's a hairspray smell. It's not a pleasant smell, but it's just the most effective. And they do different versions of this with nicer scents. They don't work as well. This one is still the OG hairspray. Um, then in terms of styling tools, so what I'll do is after I've washed my hair and it's damp, I'll put it in like one of those hair turbans, the Soap and Glory one or whichever, and then once it's kind of damp but not soaking wet anymore, I'll go um, over it with the Revlon styling brush, this one. I don't do it section by section purely because I'm lazy and it takes a very, very long time. My hair takes forever to dry. It's I, I don't know what it is, but it's hair that retains water. It just takes so, so long to dry. So I will speed the process up with this. I just do it kind of messily. And then I end up with hair like Hermione Granger, which definitely needs toning down. And I will kind of go through it with a hairdryer a little bit and just try and make it a little bit more normal. But definitely um, do this first and kind of at the roots and just get a bit more volume going on. And then in terms of straightening it, 
I will straighten it. Cloud Nine are my favourite straighteners. I know a lot of people say that they have problems with them breaking. Touch wood, I haven't had problems with that. Um, with mine, I have the curling one from them did break, but I got it fixed and it was okay. I used the white ones, I love them, they're great, they're my favourite. And then I haven't actually been using the Cloud9 wand for a while and I still love it, I still think it's great. But I have been using this one, which is much, much cheaper. And it's the Mark Hill um, wand. It's the detachable one, so you can put different size barrels on it. This is the medium size barrel. I have got the wider, um, bigger one as well, which I also like. But that's what I use to kind of do my hair today. And it just gives you that kind of messy beach hair type of look. I don't like it to look too perfect, but I don't like it to just be straight either, because I think it doesn't kind of suit my face. And I think it just looks a little bit boring. I mean, my hair's not kind of in perfect enough condition to be able to pull that off. But that's everything. I hope that wasn't confusing. I kind of ran through it a little bit because it was a lot of product. But I am going to do um, a full video answering all of your questions from Instagram, which is going to go up on Sunday. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to answer all of your questions. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've got any more questions, let me know in this one. And then I'll try and do that as well. And I'll see you all soon. Bye.